name is Valerie Poor and I really love playing with wool. It's such a versatile thing that you'll see all the sorts of things you can do with it. I like painting with it and making pictures and I also like needle felting it and doing sculptures with it. We're not going to wet felt a picture today, we're going to do some needle felting and we're going to make a bowl. So this doesn't have to involve soap and water. That's wet felting, that can be a little messy. So we're going to use some felt. These are wool tops. It's all dyed wool that's been carded but not spun into yarn. And we're going to use a stabby tool. This is the most dangerous bit. It's a bit sharp. If you stab yourself with it, you'll know about it. but. As long as you're careful, it's fine. We're going to use some polystyrene to stab into. I've got a mat to protect the table that we're using. And I've got some little plastic cutty cutter cookie. I've got some little plastic cookie cutters. We'll use those later. And the basis of our bowl is going to be a square of, this is fleece fabric, but you can use felt fabric as well. But I'm going to use fleece for this one. And it ends up looking like that. We're going to start with a square of fabric like this with the corners cut and it forms up into a bowl like this. So first of all, we're going to take some wool and pull sections off that we're going to attach to our bowl. So we've got the mat underneath and we're just going to take a small section and attach it to the side of the bowl in the middle of the side. Stabbing causes the wool fibres to lock together with each other and with the backing fabric. We will cover both sides of the backing fabric. And now I'm going to form a corner. Now for the bottom of the bowl. Now we're going to use a cookie cutter to add a central shape in a contrasting colour. Here's the finished bowl. You can felt it more so it becomes denser. You can leave it as it is or you can decorate it more by sewing or adding beads. It's up to you, to your bowl.